Now let's look at this illustration 21-36 and we're going to deal with a class 1 division 1 boundary in accordance with 501.15A4 exception 1 and then in class 1 division 2 we're reviewing 501.15B2 exception 1 but notice usually if you're in uh, like 501.15A you're class 1 division 1 but if you're in a 501.15b, as in boy, always, you're in usually a class 1 division 2. Now notice what they're showing in the top illustration. No fitting permitted, and seal should be placed within 10 feet of the boundary. But now notice, if I can place the seal, as you see here, and have 3 foot, I could have 7 foot over here, unbroken conduit, see? And here you can see the same thing. I had to put that seal within 10 foot of that uh, boundary. And no fitting of any kind permitted here except listed explosion proof reducers and items of the explosion proof type that are listed there. Now in the bottom uh, illustration, then notice that we're running a conduit completely through the class, uh, classified area. There's no cup coupling installed within 12 inches, 12 inches, excuse me, on each side of that boundary. So that means it's unbroken run through there, so no seal required, period. You know, we used to buy half-inch conduit and 20-foot links, and we would run it through these areas, and that 20-foot length would give us a greater length that we could run through there and get uh, within the 12 inches on each side before we had a coupling, uh, so to speak. And, and we would do that. Now, a lot of you folks out there use the MCHL cable. And if you don't break it, you know, you can run from point to point and use a listed seal that seals the outer jacket and the core. And you've never entered anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you run through a class 1, division 1, class 1, division 2. You've, you're considered never entering by using the MCHL cable uh, or equivalency. So uh, that's basically what this uh, figure 21-36 uh, is illustrating to the user of the code when seals are required and when seals are not required.